Well, welcome back here, everybody, at Edgebrook Center, where in just about three minutes, the tree behind me will be illuminated as we unofficially kick off the holiday season. Hey, it's turned out to be a great, great night here weather-wise. Heck of a lot warmer than last year when we were talking about temperatures in the lower 20s and wind chills in the teens. Now, earlier on today, we had high temperatures reach the middle and upper 50s. That was right at midnight. Temperatures have obviously been falling off ever since. And right now, we find ourselves in the middle and upper 30s to right around 40 degrees. Notice nobody really reporting wind chills because the winds are much, much lighter. But compared to yesterday, we're 18 to 24 degrees colder than 24 hours ago. And you can thank a northerly wind for that. The wind, though, has calmed down quite nicely, and that trend is going to continue moving forward. High pressure and control, meaning we are cloud free across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes, meaning we've got nothing but sunshine expected here for at least the next couple of days. Temperatures tonight down to 26 degrees with clear skies uh, considerably cooler but actually rather seasonable by most accounts lots of sunshine expected as we go throughout our saturday and our southwesterly wind will ensure our temperatures warm back into the 50s clear skies then tomorrow night sunshine once again on sunday we will cloud over here sunday night into early monday ahead of our next storm system that could bring us rain for the latter half of monday and into monday night now, as far as the temperature trend goes, we're going to stay on the warm side of things here straight through the weekend, but you'll see things moderate back closer to normal early next week. And then right in time for Thanksgiving, we get a little intrusion of some cooler air with temperatures likely to struggle to get to 40 degrees. And that cool air may be around for a while. In fact, the longer range outlook that takes us to right around December 1st paints a cooler than normal temperature picture. Looking ahead at our Saturday, temperatures head up to 55 degrees. Temperatures then stay in the 50s here as we go into Sunday as well. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we do start to turn cooler, but seasonable. Temperatures then cool down even a little bit more as we get into Thanksgiving with temperatures right around 40 degrees on Thanksgiving, a little bit cooler still for Black Friday. And stroll on state next Saturday. All right, back here live at Edgebrook. And you know what? This is not a project. This tree lighting is not something that just one person can pull off. So I, I assembled a, a cast of characters. We've got Marta Berglund. We've got Kaylee Randall. We've got my daughter, Juliana, my niece, Anna, and my nephew, Eli. We're all going to do the trick. So you guys know how this works. We're going to start at five. Okay. And we're going to get count down. Are we ready? Let's do it. All right. Five, five four, four, three. three. Two, one. What do you think? Is it beautiful? You guys did a great job. So we have unofficially begun the holiday season with the tree lighting here at Edgebrook. The uh, the moves uh, the mood is festive, and hey, still some time to come out and enjoy some holiday cheer. Connor, we'll send it back to you in the studio. I'm trying to figure out how to light the one behind me, but just me yelling five, four, three, two, one in the studio isn't doing anything. I think I think that one's going to be lit next week at Stroll on State Saturday. Still ahead in our show tonight, artificial intelligence is providing new insight into student performance at a New York college. How it's helped staff identify those who need the most help to succeed. That's next. <laughs> 